So, you guys want to know if you should spay or neuter your Jack Russell Terrier. Good, that's perfect because that is what this entire video is all about. And we're starting right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. Thank you for coming back and a special happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching today. Terrier Owner is a YouTube channel specifically designed for individuals looking to adopt a Terrier or that just have fun watching these kinds of videos and need help answering frequently asked questions about these dogs so that you can provide better care. So if that's you, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below, give us a thumbs up on the video because when you do, the YouTube algorithm loves us. And now, let's go ahead and dive into if you should spay or neuter your Jack Russell Terrier. All right guys, so the hot topic of the day is spaying and neutering these guys. Is it worth it? Should you do it? What benefits will you receive from it? What benefits will they get out of it? We're talking about behavior benefits, health benefits, but you have to weigh any of the negatives plus the cost and the inability to breed in the future. So we're gonna start with a broad overview of it since we're covering neutering and spaying. Then we'll get into my recommendation and go over all the benefits you can expect if you go through with it. But first, let's ask Luna what she thinks. Can we spay you? We'll talk about it later. Have your cow. She's not happy with me. Okay guys, spaying and neutering ultimately is a decision that you have to make for you and your dog, but to cover both as quickly as possible, spaying and neutering for a female or a male Jack Russell is essentially the same thing. It is removing the reproductive organs for the male and the female. For the female, you're removing the uterus and the ovaries, and on the male side, it's more geared towards the testes. Hence, why they can't reproduce after this is completed. For the male and the female, you get distinct benefits, some of them behavior and some of them health. So let's start with health benefits first, then cover behavior benefits after. I think Luna was a little bit tired. Okay guys, so the main health benefits that you get from spaying a female Jack Russell Terrier are pretty straightforward. The main one is reduced risk of breast cancer and reduce risk of any cancer related to the reproductive organs and you also get to eliminate that chance of any unintentional breeding and breeding in its own or reproducing can be stressful on these dogs and cause illness and other health complications. Additionally, you have the reduced risk of uterine infections with females when you get them spayed, and you never have to deal with the female Jack Russell going into heat again, which we will touch on it here soon in the video, which is what I'm sure all of you want to know, but that can also create some big behavior changes. If you do decide that you want to spay your female Jack Russell, it is typically recommended to do so before they go into their first heat. That does not mean that you can't do it after, it just means that that is a recommended time because it poses the greatest amount of health benefits. Okay guys, so in order to hit that timeline of getting your female Jack Russell spayed before the first heat, you're typically going to aim for about the six to nine month of age mark. And now I want to start covering some of the behavior benefits that you may or may not notice if you get your Jack Russell spayed. So the first behavior benefit of getting a Jack Russell spayed is they will typically be a little less aggressive towards other dogs, especially dogs of the same sex. So that can be a big benefit. And additionally, female Jack Russells, when they're in heat, tend to urinate much more frequently so potty training may go a little smoother for you. They may stop having that small bladder syndrome all of the time, and it'll just be easier from that aspect. And then of course, you get to no longer deal with the moodiness or the irritability that comes with a female Jack Russell who is in heat. Now keep in mind that that is basically it, except for maybe less frequency of running away or trying to get out roaming around the city. That's really it with behavior changes. You're not going to see a drastic dog behavior makeover by getting them spayed. It is mostly health benefits, a few behavior benefits, and of course the cost, which can vary anywhere from about $150 to $600 or more depending on your local vets. She's definitely a little sleepy tonight. Okay guys, now the males. So as far as the procedure, like I said, it's very similar, but 
for the male reproductive parts. As far as the health benefits, they're also very similar. The cancer chances for many of the reproductive parts are eliminated essentially or dramatically reduced. And as far as health benefits, guys, that's really it with the males. There's actually more counterproductive health consequences whenever you get a male neutered. It can often lead to a higher chance of obesity in the future. It can also cause hip dysplasia if it's completed too early, but overall most vets still end up recommending getting the male neutered. As far as behavior changes you'll notice when you do this, it's also very similar to the female. You'll have less aggression towards other dogs. You won't have them picking up that scent from females in heat and wanting to get out of the yard, dig their way under a fence, in order to run away and chase down that scent. And they will also typically have more bladder control once they are neutered. But again, guys, I wanna make it clear that neutering, if it's a male Jack Russell, is still not a behavior fix. It is a procedure you should do based on what makes the most sense, but not as an overall behavior cure if you're having issues. The only things that can cure those behavior problems are things like training, discipline and working with them as much as you can. This is not the way to do it, but again, health benefits are offered. Most of the time it will benefit you and your dog to get it completed unless you intend to breed in the future. And the cost for males is also very similar to what it is for females. And I'm really not even comfortable giving you a cost because it is so dependent on the vets in your area. There are some vets and programs out there that will even help you find assistance to get it done. You just need to shop around. But overall, guys, it's a decision that you and your family need to make for your dog. I need to personally get it done for Luna here as soon as possible because she has already had that first heat and that second heat, actually. So it is time. I do not have intentions of breeding her. So it will be getting completed ASAP. And guys, again, if you guys find this kind of content helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up because one more time to reiterate, when you do, it makes the YouTube algorithm push these videos out to other terrier owners out there. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop us some comments down below, and never forget to visit terrierowner.com. URL will display across the bottom of the screen here. You just got to punch that into your web address bar. Go check it out. Plenty of useful blogs. Again, happy holidays, and we will see all of you in the next video. Take care.